So the aero cap here, this is just uh, sheet metal wrapped around a metal frame. And then this is aluminum honeycomb. You can see there, this was, my work was throwing it out. It was an old optical target. They were gonna throw it away and I couldn't let that happen. I've got two of the four banks installed. I was gonna install three, as you can see over there. I've got a third one ready to go and I've got a fourth one ready to assemble. Unfortunately, the night before the race, my charger PFC 20 blew up on me. I was about 90% uh, charged. And uh, so I didn't have a chance to balance the other pack and just had to run with what I have. I did was able to get another charger from Evolve. Uh, they were really good at working me and trying to get me a uh, able so I can pick up a charger at four o'clock on a Friday before uh, Labor Day weekend. Uh, but in the end, I didn't end up using it. Um, I've got the, uh, can't really see well, but I've got a Honda Civic radiator there. Uh, I just want to look for the smallest radiator I could, all aluminum. And then it's all plumbed in. It goes up front to cool the solid, uh, the Shiva controller. And then my mess of cables running through. Now this is as neat as tidy as I would like it, but uh, it uh, did the job. And for, you know, when it's down to the wire, trying to get things done, it's, you don't go for pretty, you go for uh, safe and strong, which is what I did. Okay. Going inside, as you can see, I've got a... CO2 bottle here. This is actually what I use to cool the motors. Um, long story short, the uh, for, for doing the Colorado Mile race, I started with it, it in overdrive. I run it direct drive and then I have an overdrive that's actually made from an NP205 divorce transfer case. I'll show that right here. You can, you can see it right there. So from the where the motor would be, uh, shaft comes back. I've got a drive shaft hoop there, so that if the that first shaft goes, I don't lose my legs. And then a MP205 turned around, so instead of being a two to one low range, I've got a 50% overdrive, which work actually worked out really well for being a $200 transfer case that I yanked the guts out of. And then a drive shaft going back to the four nine inch there. The use of the NP205 was a real experiment. I didn't know if it would work. Um, operating in reverse, the thrust loads are uh, in the opposite direction. And it's not designed for that. It's just a matter of how long it will last. Switch panel here. So rather than tying into the stock electrical system, and ins install these two panels. I really like these. These were $15 each on, on, uh, on eBay. They're actually made for boats. Circuit breakers, 15 amp circuit breakers, and then uh, actually waterproof switches with indicators. I've got the 12 volt turned off right now, uh, but I was really happy with that and the way that came out. Uh, oh, back on the CO2. So I don't have the shifter hooked up right now. You can see right there's where a shifter is supposed to come through. So I did the Colorado Mile runs stuck in overdrive. That's a 50% overdrive with uh, essentially three to one gear ratio in the rear. So it's starting off at a 1.5. That's like if you had a Corvette, you would be starting in sixth uh, with highway gears. And uh, but that's the way it raced. So, but at those low RPMs, there's no uh, air cooling the system. So the CO2 uh, not only does it have airflow, but it uh, um, having the bottle tilted down means it shoots out liquid. That liquid is very cold when it reach, oh, when it goes to atmospheric pressure. Then we have the Shiva. This is one I bought used from a guy who bought used from somebody else. I think it was originally going to be in uh, the Camaro, or wait, it was in the Camaro drag car. Uh, I was able to, I haggled with the guy for about six months, and I think finally he got tired of me asking about buying it and uh, broke down. And I, I bought this for the same price as a, a little bit more than buying a brand new Soliton, but I got four times the power. Let's see, contactor service panel here. I wanted to be able to reach it uh, from, from the seat. Just mounted that to the roll bar, made that up on the plasma. Cables just come through the window. I'll reroute that later. And then uh, these are the pumps that I use. They're actually a uh, intercooler pump for an Audi and Mercedes. They're $50, OEM quality. I can get them in any hardware or any uh, auto store and uh, have a very good flow rate, much higher than uh, 
than is really needed for the either the controller or for the batteries. Uh, fire extinguisher, that's all that was required for the uh, uh, for the race. Oh, and see these? I don't have rear view mirrors. I installed cameras, and I have uh, LCDs. I'll actually show you. So I come in here, turn on mirrors, and then you can see there's the side view mirror. These are just $10 L or $15 LCDs and cameras hooked up, but you can see uh, back on the switch panel. So I've got a circuit breaker, I've got an indicator, and I've got a switch. So when I went to uh, race, just turn on the pumps, turn on the fan, you can turn on the Shiva, turn on the Shiva pump. Oh, and uh, I, I'll show the vacuum pump here. I don't have it hooked up to a switch right now, it just runs when I go. It's a little noisy, I need to put it on uh, isolation mounts to cool it down a bit, or quiet it down a bit. Past that, it's a 10 point cage. I just use the stock seat for right now, and a six point harness. Up front, I've gone with, uh, I upgraded the brakes to Corvette disc brakes. These are off of the C5. They use the same bolt pattern, so uh, I have a whole video I'll show later of how I did the swap from that. Uh, but it was about $350, $400 to go from the stock S10 brakes to these nice, big, beefy, 13-inch ventilated Corvette brakes. Um, back when I raced my C5, it was really nice because great performance and the parts are really cheap. When I uh, first got the car, took out the track, the previous owner put cross drilled rotors on. Of course, they crack because they're really just for looks. And I uh, was pleasantly surprised when I got a new set of rotors for $25 made in Canada. It's now $35 and made in China, but... Uh, the price can't be beat. You know, the, if I'm going to be going as fast as I want to go, uh, I really need better, more braking. I also upgraded the suspension with tubular A-arms made for a Chevy Cyclone or for a GMC Cyclone. But as an S10, the parts are interchangeable. So that me to get low and uh, get better handling. The other big advantage was it allowed me to remove the torsion bars. As you can see, there's no torsion bars anymore. So that really freed up space for mounting my overdrive. And then finally the motor. So I pulled these out. The, uh, you can see the stock coupling there is the, the original one is destroyed. I also fortunately destroyed the shaft on the motor. Really got to give it credit to Evnetics. The um, rev limiter on their controller works amazingly well. It was... But going back and looking at the data, and I'll go through all the data here in another video, it was four milliseconds between the time that that coupling failed and the motor went uh, over speed. Um, the Shiva caught it in that one millisecond. When I had my RPM limit at 4,200 RPM, and it went to four, went from 4,160 to 5,000 in one millisecond, and that's as far as it went. So uh, you can see the lines here for the CO2. I have injectors that I uh, inject the CO2 right in front of the brushes. I actually prefer behind the brushes, but uh, the for the space-wise, and it, it worked out really, really well. I was quite happy with that. Um, looking at a couple different options, I may just go to a motor, another Warp 9, or looking at some other options for Warp 11. One thing I want to point out, this is a really, really early motor from, from Warp. Uh, the, the Only the early models made in 2007, 2008, have hex head bolts that protrude. The later models have countersunk screws. But the bigger difference that's uh, seen is this counterbore here. You can see I stick my finger in. That was a machine feature so you could put a counterbore in. I think it was for a parking crawl. Um, and that really uh, weakens the shaft in this area. But you can quite clearly see how it just split along the keyway and went up to the shaft. So um, I have, uh, it's, it's debatable whether or not it was the uh, coupling or the uh, shaft that was the cause. I think it's a, a combination of the two. This is my spare shaft coupling here. So you can see the non-carnaged one. But, uh, um, but I think a later model one, any of the ones that made since 2009 with that solid shaft will be significantly stronger. And so this failed at 
2300 amps and uh, I want to go higher to uh, the full 3000 amps of the Shiva.